Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make this. So I just picked up my custom plates for the car. It's actually like my Instagram technically handle. So on the car itself and I decided to make the plates black. I still have the other one, which is like the standard color, but yeah, I figured I would like customize the plates a little bit. Before we get into this video and me showing you guys how to do this for yourself, um, I just want to preface that it is strictly for photos and track use and decorative use only. It's definitely not a legal thing to do, I don't think anyway. So if you're planning on using this on the road, I would advise against it. I'll just leave this on every once in a while for like a car meet or something or some photos. Um, but otherwise, yes, let's show you guys exactly how I custom made the black with white font license plate. All right, so the actual process is pretty simple. Um, I started off by measuring out the actual plate, and I Googled this as well, but I figured I'd take a tape measure to it just to be sure. So it's actually 12 inches across and six inches tall, pretty much exactly. Um, and then the other bits of information I needed were how wide the California text at the top of the plate is, uh, as well as kind of like the individual character sizes for the actual apex pixel part of the plate. So once I had those, I was pretty comfortable to just cut out the vinyl rectangle that I would need to wrap the entire license plate black. Uh, so that was a pretty straightforward and easy process from cutting perspective. And then I kind of moved over to Illustrator. So I, I had to find a vectored version of the California cursive at the top of the plate. And then I actually downloaded the license plate font, which I've been doing for I guess years now, replacing license plates in Photoshop um, and threw them into like this Cricut design software. So I realized not everyone's gonna have access to a vinyl cutter or some sort of printer like this. It's kind of unique that I have access to it. But honestly, if you go to any like wrap or print shop, you should be able to have this stuff printed and cut for you. Relatively inexpensive, in fact, maybe a print shop might just charge you like material costs and a little bit of labor, which is probably what this ended up costing me anyway. So yeah, pretty simple deal there. I'm gonna leave links to all of the necessary materials that I use down in the description below. So if you're interested in doing this for yourself, uh, I guess follow along on the video and everything you'll need is down there. So yeah, go ahead and try this for yourself. From there, it just became a matter of cutting everything out um, and making sure the sizing was correct and then putting it on the plate. So I did remind myself how difficult wrapping things is and even something like this where it's just like a simple rectangle with a couple of protruding shapes still was not very easy. Um, I I don't like the finished product, I'll be honest. It, uh, it's not as clean as I look and I figure if you guys are gonna mention it in the comments, might as well get ahead of it now. There's a couple of like ripples and some bubbles that didn't quite totally like lay flat. You really need an extra set of hands if you have a heat gun or some sort of uh, blow dryer. So I was trying to do that at first, but it ended up just like being more trouble than it's worth. I know there's some rough edges to it, but uh, yes, definitely have a respect for wrapping things. Either way, um, got the base of the plate wrapped up in black, so that was pretty straightforward. And then it became a matter of just putting the cut letters on top of the plate, pretty much where they lined up with the bumps. So pretty easy deal there. I definitely think the letters pop on the plate really well, so that I think turned out really well. And then um, I guess the last stage was exacto knifing around the edge and, and removing the screw holes from the plate. So yeah, just kind of like cleaning up the edges a little bit, uh, polishing up the plate, and it was pretty much done. Here again, don't know if it's totally illegal or not. So yeah, I guess kind of like go at your own pace on that one. But yeah, that's pretty much all there was to the process. All right. I don't know what's next in the video, but cut back to that. Um, that's all we have for this video. If you guys are interested in seeing more content related to this one series, definitely subscribe and stick around. Uh, I have a custom diffuser that's going to be going on the car in the next maybe week or so, and then suspension and some other stuff. So if you guys want to follow the build, um, go check me out on Instagram or subscribe to the channel. And hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, that's about all I've got. So awkward ending to the video as usual, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.